Hi, my name is Jesus Emanuel Villarreal and welcome to my studio. Today I want to share with you how I produce this self-portrait from life or direct observation using a small hand mirror. My hope is that it will inspire you to paint your own, since most of us are unable right now to get access to a model due to our social situation. Before I begin painting, I want to show you the architecture behind the painting. I don't normally draw these diagrams that I'm about to show you on the canvas directly, but they are always present on my mind while I'm painting. These diagrams allow me to find the right placement and location of the proportions of the human head from a frontal view. So let's begin. The basic form of our cranium is a sphere or a bowl with its size slightly flattened or slightly sliced or cut through, right? Here on my tennis ball I have exemplified uh, such slice, right? Because that will correspond to our lateral plane of our cranium. As you can see it is round but it flattens on the sides, right? Like a cube. So, the, the way that I imagine uh, the basic forms of the, of the human head okay, is not just a ball, like I am saying, but a ball with a square or a cube inside of it. Okay? Why? Because the flat size will correspond to our temporal section of our cranium. Okay? So, imagine and drawing a small circle on each side and dividing that into quarters. That is going to be sliced off. Okay? Then we're going to create an equator and a central axis for our, our ball. The central axis will correspond to the middle line, right? And then the equator will correspond to our brow line. Okay? Now the bottom of our cube, because remember there is a cube inside this sphere, the bottom of our cube will correspond to the bottom of our noses and the top of the cube will correspond to our hairline if we still have it <laughs> um, then this will give you the basic proportions and placement of the human head because once you get this measurement you repeat it here then it's the same from brow line to the bottom of our nose and it is the same from the bottom of our nose to the almost the bottom of our chin or some of us will have it to the bottom of our chin so if you get that measurement and repeat it to the bottom you will find where the chin goes and the chin from that point is nothing more than a simple inverted trapezoid And remember, when painting the eyes, whatever you do in one eye, make sure you do it in the other one. Because structurally, the head is symmetrical. working on the darker accents that give the depth to the upper eyelid. Um, the thickness of the upper eyelid is so thick that it creates a slight shade inside 